Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about one of the best, if not the best, video editing software for beginners. In this video, we're gonna talk about Wondershare Filmora 11. Filmora 11 is the newest version of the well-known video editing software. And in this new version, we have a lot of new features and interesting features that will help us beginners or professionals edit our videos faster and more professionally. In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick overview of how we can edit a video using Filmora 11. And also, I'm going to present you some of the new features that you can find in Filmora 11. If you're interested in Filmora, you're going to have links down below in the description where you'll be able to download the latest version of the software and play with it and see if it works out for you. This is the window that you see when you first open up Filmora 11. This was also changed compared to the previous version. And we have here some buttons, create project, instant mode, and creator academy. And of course, we can select our aspect ratio. We can create a new project or instantly access some of the new features for example, auto reframe, auto montage maker, PC screen, AA portrait. I'm going to click on new project to open up a new project in Filmora. And this is how Filmora 11 is looking right now. I'm going to close out the tutorials. If you want, you can watch the tutorials, of course, but you don't need to necessarily do that. Just a quick explanation for beginners. Basically, in the left side, you're going to have the option to import media files. And also, you're going to have the main features of the program. In the right side, you're going to see a preview of the video that you're currently editing. And down below, of these two features, you're going to have the timeline where you'll be able to see all your video clips, photos, music, audio, and all kinds of stuff. I'm just going to click on import video files and import a video so that we can easily add some effects and do some simple edits in order for you to understand how you can use Filmora 11 to edit a video. You can just drag and drop it to the timeline and you're going to see this screen. The resolution or frame rate of this media does not match the settings of this project. Basically, the project settings are in 25 frames per second but we're going to switch to match to media, which will be full HD 60 frames per second. We have here the video clip. Of course, you can move it around in the timeline. You'll be able to see audio waves. So you see better where the audio is. And if you have some blind spots, you can simply cut them out and stuff like that. Talking about cutting, you can simply click here to split or use the keyboard combination control plus B, but you can use that and simply split. And for example, I can even click here split. And if I don't like this part, I can simply click on delete and delete that part and this is how you can simply cut out a part that you are not interested in or you find that it is uh, wrongly placed in the clip. Of course you can add as many media files as you want but I'm just gonna work with this media file that is just a few seconds long and of course in the video editing process you, you would want to cut out the parts that you don't need in a video first of all and then use your effects and stuff like that everything that you want to add to your video to make it more interesting and other features. So for that you're gonna be able to use the audio feature and here you can add background music or background audio for your videos with no copyright if you have Filmora 11 purchased. You can also add titles so for example you want to add a call to action to subscribe you can simply drag and drop it to your screen and you will see that you will have it here with some nice effects that will basically call out the viewers of the video to follow you on a certain social media platform and stuff like that. That is really cool and of course you have in the left side a lot of categories where you can choose from. You also have transitions. So for example, if you want to add a certain transition between two clips, just add drag and drop the transition between those two clips and you will have that transition between those two clips. As you can see in the preview, that looks really, really good. And of course, the transitions are categorized as well. You have also effects. You can add directional blur and also a lot of other effects. And of course, they are as well categorized into certain categories. For example, food, pets, events, family and friends, seasonal film stock and stuff like that. We also have elements so you can add certain arrows, maybe emojis, maybe certain text to your video. You can do that as well with no issues. And you also have the option to split screen. So you can use the split screen option to split the screen between multiple video clips. So for example, if you're doing a podcast or something and you have four people invited, you can split the screen into four parts and um, you can do a main screen and uh, other three smaller screens screens you have here as you can see a lot of presets that will help you do that with no issues and you simply drag and drop that to the timeline and then just drag and drop video clips to a certain portion of the screen you can then easily drag and drop it so you are framed correctly and you can add again to the second part and you can split the screen into another part as you can see it is really really simple to use I think that this is a really interesting feature of course down below the preview you'll be able to see the media controls and also zoom in and zoom out of the timeline 
timeline that is really easy but now let's talk about some of the new features that you can encounter in Filmora 11. So in Filmora 11 you're gonna be able to find the cloud backup so you will be able to back up your projects and stuff like that into the cloud. Also you'll be able to find the new feature which is called stock media and you can use some film stocks or video stocks which are basically some video clips with no copyright that you can easily use in your videos so you can find here memes and all kinds of clips from certain movies and all that stuff. Also before talking about other features let me quickly show you how you can export a video using Filmora. Just click on export so after you've edited your video and you were happy with it you can just click on export and here you will be able to find all the settings that you need so for example the name where to save to the resolution the frame rate the estimated size the duration of the video and also you can use the auto highlight tool which is also a new thing that can help you create a 15 seconds clip for TikTok, for example or a 60 seconds clip for youtube shorts and you can also click on custom to create a custom highlight for this video and here's where the cloud backup comes into place you can upload to cloud in order to back up your clip there so i'm just gonna click on save to desktop select folder and then export the export process should be really fast because we have a really really quick video uh, only a few seconds but you're gonna see that our effect and transitions will also be rendered and that is really cool other new features that we can talk about in filmora 11 would be the auto montage maker so before creating a new project you can click on auto montage maker and this will help you create a montage using some music that you are importing of course and also some media so you can import some video clips or photos background music and you can use the beat sync in order for the montage to be a little bit more professional and that is really cool so of course you add here your clips or photos as i've said you use your background music you can select the start point also the beat cut and also some effects to the video if you want you can click on analysis and preview and this will automatically analyze and automatically extract the highlights for the video and we'll try to synchronize them according to the beat and you can export to the timeline and this will be automatically exported to your Filmora 11 timeline where you can click on export to export to a final file on your computer. In the main screen of Filmora 11 you can also access your cloud backup and here you can see all the files that you've backed up into your cloud. New features that were added to Filmora 11 would be also the instant mode and if you click on instant mode you'll be able to create your own videos from templates so for example you have business cinematic education family slideshow vlog and stuff like that and you can click on use or preview and this preset or template will be automatically downloaded you can import your media so for example i'm going to import two video clips it's going to require you import a lot more media to get a better result and be able to auto create a clip but that will be automatically created using the template that you've selected and that is a really cool feature that can help you if you're a beginner to create a nice and professional video and this is basically where you can edit your video this is a simple interface where you have some of the templates in the left side you have a simple timeline down below where you can have access to effect controls music settings and global settings and also all the layers in the right side and you can also go and select stock music and also titles if you want to add them to your video and then again when you're ready you can click on export and the same screen will pop up and you can export your video locally or you can even upload it directly to your YouTube channel. In my opinion, Filmora 11 is a great software for beginners. As I've said, you can create a video from zero or you can use the instant mode to create a video from a template. And if you're a beginner, as I've said in video editing, this would be the perfect software for you as it will help you understand the basics of video editing and create professional videos with no experience at all. As I've said, useful links about Filmora, where to download and where to buy the pro version will be in the description down below. So you can get that from there. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.